Hi. Well, here's a gun I've never put in a video before. And this one is a Tokarev. Chambered in 762 by 25 millimeter. The cartridge dimensions are the same as the old 30 Mauser. But it's loaded to a lot higher pressures. So these would not be anywhere near safe to shoot in a an old Mauser broom handle. And primarily I bought this gun years ago to take advantage of the cheap surplus ammunition. That stuff is pretty well dried up now, but uh, still, there's the ammunition for this is not terrible bad. It's one I need to start reloading sometime that I never have started reloading. And it's not the easiest gun in the world to shoot. The trigger is pretty heavy on it. But we'll try a few shots here, see what we can do with it. It's been a while since I've shot this. Like I said, not the easiest gun to shoot because of that heavy trigger pull, but uh, it's not bad as far as a shooting gun. And like I said, it's, it is kind of an interesting piece of history. And I'll uh, show you the markings on it and all that good stuff when I get home. You can see this viewfinder a little better. Well, we'll get a side view of this gun being shot. These Tokarev pistols are uh, kind of crude looking, but uh, don't let that fool you. They're really pretty solid little guns. Now they do have uh, kind of crummy triggers on them, which makes them a little difficult to shoot accurately. Or basically uh, you just need to get used to the, to the trigger on them. The magazine release is here as an eight round magazine safety is here which is kinda clumsy by my estimation anyway I guess maybe I'm just spoiled at the thumb safety of a 1911 up here but uh, anyway down is fire up is safe the sights are kinda crude on it but I have seen worse ones. And this one is a Polish made one. The TT33. Of course, the caliber is uh, 762 by 25. You find the serial number above, uh, by the safety. And originally I would bought this to take advantage of the cheap uh, surplus ammo that was floating around at the time. And that's pretty much all dried up now, but uh, still it's not uh, a bad uh, caliber as far as the price tag goes. This is one that I've not started reloading yet, but I really should. But anyway, I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for gun and shooting enthusiast. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Get some free time? Go check him out. Thanks for watching.